Hey everyone, this is Kathy, otherwise known as Scrapping Days. I wanted to share a project with you uh, that I am doing with a one-on-one -on -one swap with Melissa Test over at scrappingdays.ning.com. We are to do a junk journal, and this is the first one I've ever done, uh, so hopefully she will like it. Um, what I did is I took some of this... Uh, canvas looking type material linen look or whatever and made my book out of that um, I wrapped it with just some basic twine and put some beads on uh, the bottom half of the string uh, just to make it look nice and just wrapped it around the book to tie it off let me open this up and I'll show you the inside um, I kept it really simple That's the tie. And on the front of the book, I just did a stenciling uh, with some uh, Martha Stewart paint uh, or any other acrylic paint would do also. And I used my uh, Tattered Angels Mist to make like the background look. Like the top half is a very pale blue and the bottom half is a pale, pale green and just try to do a little scene. Um, I cut out a cloud stencil. I don't know if you can see it. And then uh, put that down before I sprayed it to give it the look of some clouds in the sky here and there. Um, but basically that is the front. And the front of the flap is not stiff uh, because when I did this, I'll show you. Um, I did two pieces of material, you know, the front and the back of the material. And in between the material, I put three pieces of chipboard. The piece for the back side of the book, the piece here for the spine, and the piece here um, for the other half of the book. And of course, the loose uh, material being like a wraparound cover for the front and then she could use the tie to tie it off. But on the inside of the flap I just uh, wrote in some various little sayings that I liked like live out your God created identity, live generously and graciously towards others the way God is toward you. And over here number one rule do what makes you happy. Uh, down here um, don't follow your dreams chase them and be the change you want to see. Life is short, live it. Love is rare, grab it. Anger is bad, dump it. Fear is awful, face it. Memories are sweet, cherish them. So just basically did some, uh, like I said, those sayings on there with a few stamps on the inside of the flap. And of course this flap of the book is just kind of plain with the blue sky and the green grass if she wants to stamp something else on there um, that would be a good place for her to do that and <clears throat> here on the inside just some misting with the tattered angel mist and here I just stamped a uh, love bug on a painted green background square and did some sewing around it and glued it right there in the corner get a look at that and it's just basic uh, things I had laying around in my craft room. Uh, some transparencies. Uh, what's vellum paper with just some various stickers uh, in there. And this particular paper here, she can come over it with some inking because these letters are raised and do whatever she likes on that page. And there's an, more vellum. And this piece of vellum, I just did a seam with the sewing machine down the side and left the little strings hanging there. Uh, here's a stencil. She can use this on some of her pages if she likes. And she wanted me to throw in some coffee themed stuff in here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that's what she said. Um, so I took uh, one of my magazines. Um, <clears throat> it's called Roast Magazine because uh, I do roast coffee and I like to read those. 
So I just took some various pictures out of the magazine too and also stuck them throughout this book. So this is a picture of actually, that you can see without that glare on there, of a real uh, coffee bush. And then just a basic, uh, you know, the background uh, that Tim Holtz uh, things come in. Uh, so that's part of the packaging. And then some journaling paper. And this uh, material was sent for me from Teresa. She's also a member on um, Scrappin' Days. So I included that on the back of this paper. I sewed it on, so it's attached to that journaling piece. And then another tag. I thought the uh, from a product that I bought, I thought the uh, paper background was really pretty, so I included that. And then on the back, I just stuck another vellum piece on the back of that. And a copy of my Pongo Roast business cards. I just did a repeated uh, pattern on this paper. And she could stick a picture there on top of it. Whatever she likes to do. And this was a card that I received from someone. So I thought it was appropriate for this junk journal. So I am including it in her book. I thought that was very nicely done. And a piece of, <clears throat> another piece of vellum here. And that's Webster's Pages. I like their paper lines too. And this is another Webster's Pages uh, piece of 6x6. Six six. And just a piece of packaging again that I had cut off the top. And then I just stuck a couple of pieces of paper things in there that she can write on or stick a picture to. Another piece of packaging. I think this is Articake, um, their background for their stuff. So I just put two pieces of that together to make that. And this lace looking transparency. And then this was a piece that I had done a long time ago uh, for a junk journal. I never used it. Uh, it's like a vellum pocket. So she could stick uh, pictures down in there, uh, keepsakes, and I just inked it up and stuff. And a cover of one of the roast magazines. And an envelope. That she can stick some things to, into. And this is one of my own uh, coffee bags. Uh, with one of the labels on the front. So I stuck that because actually she could use it as a pocket for something. And um, yeah, because it's pretty deep. It's probably six or seven inches deep. So she can use that as a pocket. Um, a postcard from one of my uh, suppliers, I guess you'd say. Um, so it has pictures of coffee and stuff uh, related to coffee on there. So I thought that was kind of neat. Another piece of vellum. And an actual card that I made that says thinking of you. I never used it, so I stuck it in here that she could use it as a page. And then I just tried to make the back side of it kind of look Americana. Because it looks kind of like that theme to me. And then another page out of one of the magazines that Kind of reminds me of steampunk, so I kind of just stuck that in there. And of course it features coffee. And this one is just a basic journaling page. Um, I had this strip of uh, film-like stuff that you can tuck pictures behind it right here. And then I just uh, use one of those square stickies there to tape the template down that she can use to uh, cut the pictures that will fit behind there. Another basic page. And this was a pocket envelope that I uh, misted with the Tattered Angels. And I stuck a tag in there. It's a pretty big size. Uh, looks like uh, probably like 5 by 8 size. Or 5 by 7, somewhere in there. And she wanted some, uh, like a map in there and a postcard from the area that I live in. So I kind of put that towards the back. Um, this is just another transparency. This is a postcard of Wright Memorial over in the Outer Banks. Um, I visited there 
probably 4th of July a couple of years ago, so I picked up some postcards because um, it's named First in Flight, but um, as we all know, there's that controversy going on about which state is actually First in Flight, but North Carolina uh, claims it right now. So this is a postcard uh, from when the Wright brothers uh, first flew out over there. And of course, I'm from Virginia, so I included uh, part of a Virginia map. And on this piece um, is, I cut out the part of Virginia Beach right here. And then I put, uh, Kathy lives here. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of funny. <clears throat> and then another vellum sheet where I just kind of sewn on this little pocket here. With, that has a tag in it. And this is another piece of packaging. Um, I left it kind of open at the top, and I just stuck a bunch of various papers in there that she can use throughout this book, or throw pictures in there, whichever she'd like to do. And anyway, that is the junk journal, and I hope you like it, and I hope she likes it. Thanks.